Chainsaw Man Summary Part 2 Let's go. Denji and a woman are vibing when suddenly his stomach growls. The woman says that she'll get something at the rest shop and that she'll pay for him. She also offers him her tuxedo top and Denji happily accepts it. Denji is confused as people had already previously called him filthy or said he reeked. He states that in his mind that she was fine too, then that he's in love with her. They arrive at the shop and Denji is ordering his food when unexpectedly they are interrupted by a distressed man stating that a devil had kidnapped his daughter. The woman makes the best face ever and then asks for Denji's name. Denji responds shortly after the lady tells Denji that her udon will get soggy so Denji should take care of the devil for her. He's hesitant but the lady presses him by reminding Denji that he is her pet. The lady says that she has no use for a pet that says no and that Denji will pretty much get killed if he disobeys her orders. Denji hastily says yes and heads out fast. He starts rethinking his feelings for the woman as he hates being treated like a dog. Just like that, he remembers Puchita is dead and dwells in it for a bit until some laughing can be heard from a small figure afar. Denji is curious to see the child playing with the devil. Denji and the child are shocked to see each other for a brief moment until the small child begs Denji to forgive the devil. Denji is confused as he was probably thinking that the devil was harming her. The child then goes on to say that her father hits them when they're angry. However, the devil helped them when his father did just that. She pleads for Denji not to kill him. She pleads for Denji not to kill him one more time. However, Denji remembers what the lady said about how dogs we can't use get euthanized. Denji sees too much in the devil as Puchita and is extremely hesitant. So he asks them both to run away so that Denji doesn't die and the child and devil can flee. In essence, framing the whole situation as the children ran away. Denji and the girl are pleased as they shake hands only for the girl to slowly deform into a huge muscular foe. The devil states that they can control any muscle that they're touching and bro that is so disgusting. The devil makes some questionable remarks and laughs like a maniac only for Denji to pull his chain and absolutely obliterate the muscular fiend. The lady faces them and is content saying, I see you're a dog I can use, then bites into the corn dog. I don't know if it's just me, but in every panel, she just looks so elegant and different from the rest of the characters. I don't know why. Anyway, Denji barks and slowly stumbles into the woman because he's lost a lot of blood. The lady catches him, but Denji clearly is too focused on something else. The woman asks, how is he a chainsaw man? And Denji responds with, Puchita became his heart. He doesn't want to believe that Puchita died to save him but it really is the reality right now. The lady states that this has happened before, however, it is pretty rare. The lady confirms that she believes in Denji, then states that she can tell Puchita is still alive in him. She also states that his body smells like a human and a devil. Denji is glad Puchita is still there and says that this is the best. But shortly after, he says that he's going to eat some udon. The lady asks if he can eat on his own and Denji, obviously lying, says that he can't. Oh, and she feeds him. She then states that him calling soggy udon delicious is not bad for dog standards. Denji shortly after asks if there's a type of guy the woman likes and she says people like you Denji. There's something quite off and suspicious about that or is that just me? Denji responds with, ain't that me then? Quite a change of events.